Oh, that swish doesn't work. I mean, none of it works, but I don't even know why I had the swish in there like a freaking idiot. Oh, God. Hey, can I just say that this almost hit me on the road. I was just going straight away there, going green. You know, light goes green. I'm going down 82nd Street there, going down the road. This guy's got a yield on the right coming off of the highway there on the road. He just cuts right in front of me. Just doesn't even look to the left. Cuts right in front of me. I almost smash into him. And then what does he do after that? Makes the first mistake. What does he do? He slams his brakes. Slams his brakes, pumps his brakes, so then all of a sudden I have to slam my brakes once again because he's right in front of me now. And instead of just going and flowing through, he's holding up the road and I'm almost going through the windshield. So so he could suck it, blow chunks. Anyway, welcome to our next episode of What the Fizz. <laughs> God, I gotta start this way. Yeah, because you know, I just had to. I just had to. You know, that's what that's what this is all about, right? Connection. You just throw you just say how you feel, you just kinda let it all go on the camera, you know? Kind of how it goes. Anyway, welcome to another episode of What the Fizz. This is Sparkling Reviews for Foos. And what we do on this is we review sparkling waters, right? All different kinds, one, one versus another sort of thing, but two per episode. Now, on this episode today, what we've got here are two. We've got the Montpellier. Montpellier. I think I'm getting better at this. I call it Montpellier just to be freaking quick, but I say Montpellier. Montpellier. I think I got it that time. And then we've got the Strawberry Bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly. Okay. Starting off here, nice and strong. We got the strawberry bubbly. All right. Now the strawberry bubbly, one of the original, if not actually the very first bubbly I remember seeing in stores, and the one that came out uh, first that I've tried. So these guys here, they come in 12 bags, right? Normally on sale for about $4.99 or $5.49. Regular price around $6.50 to $7 Canadian. Uh, 3.55 mils, zero calories, 12 in a pack, and uh, you know, coming from a brand that has uh, about. 11 or 12 different flavors so far um, this is one of the best ones that I remember but we're gonna just review this one here today for you guys on camera it's gonna hit this guy off here with the first taste ah. in the jungle the mighty jungle the water sparkles tonight All right, baby. cheers baby Beautiful, beautiful. Nice little uprise there, coming up there on the uh, on the first taste. You get the, you get a lot of that flavor when it's coming up, right? And even when it's coming down with that aftertaste, you're still getting that flavor. Uh, it's it's nice, and it rises and it goes smoothly, and it doesn't really dissipate at all. It lingers a little bit, but it's not too punchy, right? The carbonation level here is about a mid range, so you're not looking at a higher end carbonation where it's going to you know, sizzle down your throat sort of deal. But uh, with this guy here, it actually goes nice and smooth. Uh, it's very, very light in comparison, like say, to the strawberry Perrier, for example, the one that uh, kind of tastes like those uh, those strawberry candies that I was that I was alluding to in the in the last video. That one has like more of a distinct taste, right? It's a little bit got more, a little bit more potency to it, uh, whereas this isn't. But in, in the way that Bubbly tackles the strawberry on this one, it's kind of nice, nice having that change up in the flavor where it's a little bit lighter, you know. Like it's okay to have a different flavor of something, right? As long as it's a tasty and B it still has its own quality in flavor so that you know you're getting something even though it's different than the other thing you know like this Perrier has its own kind of distinct strawberry taste right and this has a different tier of strawberry on it right first taste is absolutely 9.1 after taste give it about an 8.8 .8. uh, only reason is because you know it's a tiny bit stronger on the come up than it is on the come down if you know what I'm saying right but no no burning your throat nothing like that so if you want something that's a little bit easier and nothing that's gonna be as uh, cringy down the gulls you know go for go for the bubbly balance it's got very very good balance obviously when it's coming up it kind of stays nice and strong kind of comes back down you know not too potent for those that like the lighter stuff but it's actually so it's actually kind of like a, a weak strawberry bubble gum you know what I mean you know bubble gum got a lot flavor that blows up in your mouth that explosiveness uh, this has got a little bit less than that, but um, all for the good reasons, right? Not the wrong ones. So balance on this guy, we're going to give it a 9.0. 
in terms of how smooth now, smooth, smoothness. Smoothness is very important. Some people, they don't give a shit, right? They just want to hydrate, they want to throw whatever water back, and just, you know, and then make their way to the gym and then go go to work, or whatever they need to do. You know, just put a little bit of that pre-workout in here. You know, I bet, you know, I bet the pre-workout works really good on these guys too. The smoothest factor on here is definitely very high. Uh, again, you know, it's not too bitter. Uh, it's not hitting you too much, too much of a kick in the nuts there. You're just kind of gliding right on through with that flavor. So smoothness on this, I'll give it definitely a 9.4. Very high rating, yeah. So well, on the nice part too, that I've experimented recently with this guy here, with the strawberry bubbly. I've actually, you get like those, uh, you go to the grocery store, whatever, you get like frozen fruit bags, right? You know, they got like the tropical ones and they got like the cherry strawberry raspberry, like little medley. You get those for like four or five bucks, right? Just get one of those, just grab one of those bags, right? Throw some in a cup here and just pour the bubbly over top of it, right? Let it fizz up, let it sit for about, you know, I don't know, 15, 30 minutes. And you kind of sit, let it sit there or whatever. Next thing you know, you got this freaking cocktail. It's like healthy cocktail, you know? This is natural sugars. You don't have this, all this other added crap just flooding this thing with disease or whatever else there may be that nobody knows, right? You just kind of let it sit there and linger and kind of blends all together and I tried that and I sipped that and it was just absolutely amazing like the thing is freaking phenomenal definitely can't complain about that so there's different that's why I just want to say I want everyone to experiment too right like use different ways that you want to kind of consume these things you know I don't know how good like you know sparkling water game is just starting to come on the rise right we're just starting here with how much more popular it is getting so there's different ways that you can experiment with these things and I implore you to do so so flavor on this bad boy obviously if the smoothness and everything else is going really well um, everything's coming together uh, flavor of course not as crazy as the strawberry perrier uh but for for this guy here we're going to give it a 9.1 so overall value around the board i think i'd be hovering about yeah let's call it a 9.1 for the overall value on this guy here and definitely a buyback definitely something that i would get again and uh you know you want to change things up there's other flavors and, and the good news is that the strawberry flavor seems to have very good variety among all the brands and uh you, uh, you surely won't be disappointed at all Cheers. Moving along. Montelier, Lemon, Citron, Lemon, Citron, Lemon, Citron. Yeah, we got the uh, Montelier Carbonate Natural Spring Water, sourced in Saint Baguette de Laville, Quebec. Yeah, I love it. What the hell does that mean? 330 ppm, pp. 330 big ppm dissolved mineral so definitely big pee, pee no small pee, pee on this one this is actually a good one too i have tried this before i have no idea what that means but i think i should look that up considering i'm the person doing the reviews on this so anyway without further ado okay montelier lemon Ooh, this one didn't spray in my face this time good news didn't explode explosive news. and we are pouring in pouring in Okay, cool. Cheers to this one. Let's kick it off. Japanese build all over myself. Typical caveman fashion. Okay. Okay. Oof, yeah. Get that good lemon on it. Good lemon on it, yeah. For sure. Carbonation is definitely lower to mid-range on this guy here. The other thing that I find as well is the flavor is also subtle kind of like I was saying how the bubbly strawberry is subtle compared to the strawberry Perrier you know the Montelier lemon is definitely subtle to probably nearly all of the lemon flavors that I've had which is basically every brand I'm pretty sure has lemon flavors so like six or seven maybe eight nine different lemon flavors this is very very subtle so if you're someone who likes the subtleties you're probably gonna resonate well with this episode first taste on this guy very subtle the first taste, though, it, it does hold well, it kind of brings it up a bit, definitely holds well. But the aftertaste, it does dip off. You know, that's the thing, though, too, right? If it's too light, it'll trail off before you can finish just enjoying that sip, you know, enjoying the drink. Before you enjoy that, it kind of trails off a bit, it leaves you wanting more, right? Good news, these guys you just keep sipping them away, like, <laughs> I don't know, 31 sips, and this thing will be on, right? Blah, 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 blah. So the first taste on this guy here, I'm going to say... 8.2 8 uh, then um, on the aftertaste here I'm gonna have to give this one like a 7 7.2 let's just say it's 10 10 points difference I think I mean because it is almost like when it with me like I take that sip and it's like lemon gone like you know it just fell off a cliff you know you see that video of the golden eagle that drops the goat off the cliff 
Dude, that is like, that's insane. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Don't, don't watch it. It's actually, it's actually pretty graphic. Uh, the balance on this guy here is kind of all over the place, right? Because it's just like, like I said. So balance on this, I would have to say, I mean, the whole purpose of the balance is to blend the two together. Balance of it, flat seven, flat seven on the balance. I mean, they, the whole, they're, they're very far off from one another between where it starts and where it ends. And so I think for that reason, there should be reason to give that a higher number. Don't have that reason. Smoothness, it is definitely very smooth, you know, being it's on the lighter sides and everything like that. It's a lot harder when you've got something more potent with a higher carbonation to keep smooth, like to the point where you're actually going to enjoy it. And uh, it's not something, one of those things that likes the, you like where you like get the, all the burning and stuff. Although some people like that. Typically what's funny enough is the people who love hot sauce more, I find love the burn of things in general more. I'm not sure if there's any scientific basis behind this, but it's basically like if I drink something like this, like me being such a hot sauce lover, I kind of find I'm like, you know, I do love it when it sizzles down my throat, you know? You know, uh, you might find that with ginger beer, right? You have that like, it's like the non-alcoholic ginger beer, whatever, it's like the actual, it's like ginger ale, but very strong ginger ale, like there's more ginger root in it, and it's good for your stomach and all that, but it's just like, if anyone's ever had that, you know, they know that it's got that burn, and it's only for specific people, and I find that if you don't like a burn like that, then yeah, maybe you would be accustomed to enjoying the finer variety in terms of having something lighter. So smoothness on this guy here, pretty smooth. Yeah, 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 we're gonna give this one an 8.7. Flavor, I mean, I'll give them the points to a certain degree on the flavor. I get what they're trying to do with uh, it being a little bit uh, less, but overall flavor on that guy would have to be, put 8.3. But the overall value, let's say everything's said and done, you know, this kind of is all over the board here. This is definitely something that I would buy back, right? Definitely something you would get again. Um, would I take it over another lemon one? Well, it depends on my, my mood. Uh, because these things here, uh, before I get too far along, uh, actually you can get these singularly for like a dollar, dollar twenty-five on sale. Like by far the best bang for buck for you know sparkling water drinks. So like beggars can't be choosers. You can't be too picky about that, right? So dollar to dollar twenty-five on this guy here. You also get these guys in the six packs now, right? So you get a six pack of these guys uh, about seven bucks, uh, but it's about four ninety-nine Canadian when you see it on sale. Like again, crazy deal. You get six liters for five bucks on this thing. Put bottle deposit government taking tax and then you get uh you know you get you get all that nice flavor and taste uh, for a very good value so definitely definitely something good especially if you're on a budget this is something to just like you know go straight for it's just this is fantastic why not pick it up give it a shot you don't like it oh well there's different flavors to try right they've got the original one that i reviewed in the last video the grapefruit and the lime there are a couple other different flavors i believe uh but i believe i just what do you think has just tried those two so far Overall value, 8.3, 8.3, not bad, you know, I've had better, I'd buy it again, it's nothing terrible, but just based on something for coming from me, because just don't take it from me, you know, obviously, listen to uh, other points of view as well too, but, you know, just taking it from me, I just I like something that's gonna kind of go down a little bit harder uh, and still have that smooth variety to it. Which brings us to the last part, right? This is the part where, I become a complete idiot again, again, and again. We've got the Tabasco here, the final fusion. Final fusion, what is final fusion? That's what you ask. What is final fusion? Final fusion is basically where I am just completely idiotic and I put Tabasco in this shot glass right here, right? Put Tabasco in the shot glass right here, flip it back, take a little sip of that strawberry bubbly, take a little sip of that lemon Montelier, and then next thing you know, I see if I make a cringe face, and you laugh at me and I suffer and you know, luckily for me, my stomach can handle that. And uh, <laughs> let go. Oh, that swish doesn't work. I mean, none of it works, but 
I don't even know why I had the switch in there like a freaking idiot. Oh god. You know, at first it's actually kind of bad, but then it just starts to little settle a little bit. So it's rather rather quickly compared to some of the other ones I did. The last one was like like surprisingly like easy, you know. Not not saying it's something enjoyable I go out of my way to do, but the last one was kinda of easy. It was like <laughs> two original flavors in the hot sauce, or this is like throwing a whole bunch of flavors together and all that carbonation and the hot sauce lingering on. Yeah. Not recommended. Yeah, so it's not that bad. Okay, okay. I can handle that. I can deal with that. Bring it on. Bring it on foods. Every day and every night. Limbiscuit. I love Limbiscuit. Limbiscuit is so underrated. I don't know. I don't understand. I seriously don't understand why people crap on this band. You know? They've actually done so much for music. And you know, even the 90s, you just think about it, right? Like the song Nookie came out. It just kind of came out and it's like, whoa, what is this? You know? It's very, very different. Love them or hate them. They brought something new to the game and they had a different style, a different sound, and it uh, definitely resonated well with me and tens of millions of other people. But hundreds of millions, maybe. <laughs> Anyhow, ranting about Limp Bizkit in a sparkling water video like you guys give a sh**. And so with that being said, I'll conclude this episode. This was What The Fizz. Another episode gone by the wayside. And I look forward to seeing you and talking to you on the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay real, and I will stay caveman. Bye.